you believe if I told you that today I am not wearing double wear Estee Lauder double wear foundation I am not wearing my Max Studio Fix Fluid foundation in fact I'm not wearing foundation any liquid foundation at all um, so I want to talk to you about this magic product it's nothing new but new to me and um, yeah that's what I was talking about in my other videos so I hope you're not disappointed I've made such a big hoo-ha about it but I just love it so you know my aversion to BB creams I've tried a few of them I showed you some I even got I think it was L'Oreal CC cream and I just absolutely hate them I think they're pointless they greasy um, I don't know what is the point of them but when I watch Lisa Lisa D1 you know she always uses use this Rachel K CC cream I can't get it here uh, if I ordered it from America it cost me far too much money to risk to try it and then not liking it but I was still intrigued by it so I've researched a bit the BB cream market and what I found out is that you shouldn't go anywhere near BB cream that is Western made no L'Oreal, no Garnier, none of that because they are not BB creams anybody can call their cream BB cream there is no love for it you know it's a blemish balm as long as they have I suppose some skin beneficial ingredients they can call it BB cream if you want the real deal you need to just buy the Asian ones and Korean Korea is the one where they come from um, I've watched this video here on YouTube um, this girl explains everything about BB creams and compares the Western made BB creams to the Asian ones and I will put the link below because it's very interesting I don't want to bore you with it all and I'm don't know so much about it I just know that no one can copy the Asian BB creams they really do work so I've realized that here in the UK I can get Dr. Jart BB cream and there it is so it's gonna be um, BB cream so I thought I will try it. I went on the Boots website because Dr. Jart um, makes about five or six different BB creams and they for different skin needs. So what I did, I read all the reviews for each BB cream and chose the one that I thought would benefit me the most. And uh, this one is the regenerating. So it's in a silver, shiny, um, box um, and is Dr. Jard Regenerating BB Beauty Balm. Um, why I chose that one? Because the ingredients in it are regenerating, so for obviously more mature skin. Um, I think this one has the highest coverage and also doesn't make you shiny which the other ones I've read can so if you've got very dry skin you'll be fine with the other ones I would just suggest if you want to try Dr. Jade that you just go and, and read the reviews I find reviews so helpful and you have to read quite a lot of them uh, to see if what these people say will benefit you so that's how I usually choose my product and, and especially one um, a review was very helpful when the lady was around my age and she said that she's got about 10 different foundations concealers blah 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 and she really loved that one so that sold it to me because she sounded very similar to me so okay let me just tell you this again the western bb creams are just like tinted moisturizers but worse um apparently if you look at the ingredients more, most of the ingredients are like foundation ingredients and they have few skincare products thrown into it 
whereas this is other way around. That does not look like tinted moisturizer. Um, even though it covers, I just do not know how it works. To me, it's magic. And, and when I stop talking, I will do, I've already done it obviously, and I filmed it first, the, how I apply it and what it looks like. It, it's just amazing. Okay, so what it says on here that uh, BB is your skincare regime in one tube. Uh, it is moisturizer, protector and corrector. No foundation needed. Uh, BB is your moisturizer, sunscreen and treatment serum which while hiding uneven skin tone so well that it minimizes the need for foundation or concealer. Skin looks smooth, perfect and natural. Um, and in here it says professional formula containing cutting edge active ingredients, uh, covers and conceals imperfections whilst helping skin regenerate. And it also contains SPF. 30. So, how I've started using it, it also has, I think, um, uh, whitening properties, which means that it gets rid of, um, with time, um, pigmentation marks. So, we'll see about that. Um, the ingredients are, um, <laughs> let me tell you about the the main ingredients so the first ingredient is sunscreen and I think that's why the color of it is so chalky and white I suppose then macadamia seed oil snail secretion I've heard all this thing about snail secretion in cream supposed to really help regenerate your skin I don't really want to think about snail slime on my face but if it's good for you who cares um, and also jojoba seed oil. So we have some good stuff in it. So what I've, I've been doing for the last few days, um, in the mornings I just use my serum, you know, my Lancome serum that I'm using, and then I use my BB cream, and all I have right now is my BB cream and my Laura Mercier powder. That's it, no foundation, no concealer nothing so i am so pleased because it gives me i don't know how it works honestly it's a miracle it gives me it's not so much coverage but like really even then even out of skin tone it's very scary because let me squeeze some out it is very white grayish looking and you don't need much it's better to build it up you put it on the skin and it looks white almost white but after a while when you rub it in it adjusts to your skin color i wouldn't i wouldn't wear it on its own if you were if you had darker skin than nc30 i wouldn't wear it on its own but you can make it darker by putting powder or bronzer over it so it's no problem whatsoever and somehow it really conceals and evens out your skin I don't know how because it does not look like foundation when you look at it it doesn't look like I don't know um, let me put some on my skin so can you see how white it is but then you rub it in and if you wait a bit it will adjust to your skin can you see how it blurs out the imperfection i don't know how well you can see it um, on my hand but when i look at my hand it just looks amazing um comparing to this one i'm in love with this product so i use now this every day in the morning because it has the sp30 and i'm and i'm so happy because you know I've used the doc, um, Michael Todd organic skincare and I loved it and I think it, it made a difference to my skin but unfortunately their products do not have SPF in them so but I was wearing it through the winter I finished the, the creams now 
and you know in England we don't really get any sun in the winter so I wouldn't use it in the summer because obviously it doesn't have any SPF my foundations have SPF but only 15 I think so this is great so I get my SPF I get all the benefits of good skincare and I get coverage so for every day I don't have to now use foundation and if I want to if I want to have more coverage if I'm going out for example I can use this as my primer and then just um, put foundation on the top of it and I've tried that as well you just need to use much less foundation when you have used that so that was my secret product that I've bought it's not a secret really but I've never heard about it you know I've never heard about it I only saw BB creams you know when I heard Garnier and all that um, and I didn't realize that you shouldn't go anywhere near them if you want a real BB cream or CC cream you go for the Asian ones so um, yep yeah, um you can see and and what i've noticed as well that after a while it gives me really nice glow um i think yesterday when i was showing you my hair when i just had my hair done someone actually commented that my skin looks very glowing and i don't know if it's this it, i don't know how to explain because i don't like really the too much glow so i look greasy but it's glowy but not greasy if you know what i mean so Anyway, I love it. I love it and I never thought that I would sit here and tell you that I like BB cream. So check it out or if you can, try that Rachel K okay? because I'm sure it's very similar product and don't be scared of the colour. Unfortunately, they come just in one colour. Um, so you, you can't choose but they are quite adjustable. And like I said, you can make it darker with putting a bit I don't know darker powder on it or bronzer um so yeah that was it i wanted really to tell you about that um face of the day you will see after this um how i put the bb cream and my powder then on my cheeks i have used from the naked flushed i used just the blusher on my eyes, I have a mixture of the NYX uh, trios in the woods and nude top dark and brown. So a mixture of these two. Um, eyeliner and today I use the Rocket Volume Mascara. And for my lipstick, I have used one of my new ones, the Color Riche Serum in Freshly Candy. Okay, so that's what I've used for my face. Um, I also have washed my hair after I've put my BB cream. So when you see me in a minute, my hair won't look like this. Um, I've washed my hair and done it myself and I'm much happier with it when I do it myself. Okay, so I hope this was helpful to you um, and you enjoyed this video and I see you soon. Okay, so I just have put um, my serum on and I'm not putting any moisturiser because this is my moisturiser, as we know, this is all in one. So I just show you how scary it is and I show you how much I will take of it. I just take that much and that's probably a lot. Um, it's quite thick but it's very light. It's, um, ashy looking so if you are much darker than NC25, NC30 and you want to wear it on its own it's probably too light but I have a bit of fake tan today on and even though this is light whatever I will put on the top of it you know I can I can put some powder on or I can put foundation on it use it as a primer and it's fine so you can adjust the color but if you want to use it on its own if you are quite dark then it won't work let me just do one side first because I think this is magic and it's gonna look very scary when I put it on first it will look very white and mask like but you will see it then adjusts to your skin color let 
me do just one side. And I don't know how it does it, but I have such an even skin. Um, and I would be quite happy to show my face to people that side. Don't know if you can see, can you see all the discolorations here, my hyperpigmentation? I don't know how it does it, because if you look at it, it does not look like foundation. Um, it's just like um, as if you put moisturizer on or, or a, um, I don't know, light um, tinted moisturizer. But can you see when I first put it on how white that goes on? But as soon as it starts sinking in, it does adjust to your skin tone. And that has given me already quite nice coverage without looking like I've got foundation on. So if you have, um, you could leave it like this now, if um, you're not too dark, and just use concealer in bits that you need. Um, you could use this as a primer and then put your foundation on. You, you just wouldn't need as much foundation. You could put some lighter foundation on. Oh, what I'm going to use is my uh, Laura Mercier powder, mineral powder. And that's all I have. So I cannot believe it myself that I'm, I can go out without my foundation. And as you can see, the Laura Mercier is a bit darker and that will just give me more color. But it's like I said, I am really impressed. So, and and the fact that that while it's sitting on my skin, it's really doing good to my skin, makes me even happier. So, what I am doing now, I use this as my moisturizer every morning. And if I want a heavier coverage, then I'll put a bit of um, foundation on the top of it, not as much. And for every day, I just do this. Can you believe that? I would never, ever do that before. So, just remember, if you want a proper BB cream, stay with the Asian type Asian kind the especially the Korean ones so I hope those helped to you and you enjoyed it I'm gonna go and finish my makeup off and you probably will see that at the beginning of this video um, and I see you soon bye